I bring up the next question. Um, pretty much, what's the purpose well, well, of well, getting well, married? Well, let's let's go around. Like, Victor, what's your version of a, a successful, healthy relationship? How do you see it? If, if you don't want kids, I'm saying. I what mean, was the purpose of it? I apologize, Antoine. Oh, My bad. No, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want kids, which is fine, obviously. What would be the purpose of marriage that you see a healthy marriage? Wealth and ambition. Before the two? Yeah, because okay. like there's a lot more there's a lot more uh leverage in a marriage when you got two parties with good credit and both got plans and ambitions, you know what I'm saying? And you operating in a team capacity. You got a vision, you know what I'm saying? Like you that if you go look at wealthy people, they're all married. Yep. And I'm not saying you can't be wealthy single. No, you're, you're right though. I yeah, agree. Wealth is part of marriage is part of the wealth equation for me because it's a business decision. So, like, I'm not gonna put my myself in a disadvantaged position. You know what I'm saying? If if of obtaining of obtaining wealth status and power and all the other influential things that go with it you know um i gotta be realistic about it you know because why do you think why do you think you didn't you weren't you're not jaded about marriage having done it twice already because i got because i'm in control of it no but why do you think you're not jaded about it because i'm in control of it you know what i'm no, saying listen, listen, jaded me and when i'm saying jaded i mean you don't because you know you can ask people hey you know i would never get married again why because you know this whole process of being married and blah blah blah. Why do you think you don't have that mentality to be like that? Because I'm yeah, I, in control of it. Period. Like I, you, you connect to whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really the simple, you know what I'm saying? Answer for it. Like the reason I'm not is because like I've been in control of every situation. To you know what I'm saying? My involvement in the situation. Once right. you take some level of accountability in what your previous situations are, you know what what you want. You're more defined about it as as you get more accomplished on your own and uh -huh. and, I, and i think i think what you need out of a marriage is relative to what you want out of life altogether because like you don't just do marriage just because it's something to do i've done all of this i think i go you know what i'm saying get somebody pregnant or, or 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 go get in a committed relationship when that's not really what you want you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i think once you have a goal in mind the right type of mate gets selected based on the direction that you're taking it you know what i'm saying so like uh you can't be jaded about something that you're in control of now you could be jaded if you're always asking for position and never getting it and getting discouraged and then once you get there you don't know what it takes to stay there you know what i'm saying you can get jaded by trying to achieve something but marriage isn't ne isn't necessarily a, an achievement for me you, you know what i'm saying it's it's part of the process so like for me it's it's about being with somebody that i can bounce my ideas off of um being with and you can do all that without being married to them but I, i'm telling you what it is for me you know what i'm saying like right. i've i so you what gotta, that it, what is, so if well, you're saying that if you're saying that you can for you i'm saying what makes you say that you can do all what you're saying now, if you're saying all what you're saying now without marriage and if you could do it without marriage, why would what why do you see what was the purpose of marriage then? I've already said it, it's for wealth. Okay, so you're doing it for a wealth reason as yeah. a combination. Yeah, it's a kind okay. like yeah, absolutely. Like it, it's a benefit that that uh you know what I'm saying. I, I love you know what I'm saying my woman dearly. You know what I'm saying. But like you gotta understand, I have a larger design. You know, like I, I don't have to rush it. You know what I'm saying. I know what I have. I know what I am, you know what I'm saying? So even if I wasn't in a committed relationship with the woman that I have, I'm still in control of it. You know what I'm saying? I get to put myself in position to choose if I want to date openly or, or something like that. If I was in the, in the market like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like marriage happening or not doesn't dictate my outcome for wealth, but it just, it's a piece of the ingredient. You know what I'm saying? That allows me to enjoy the wealth. Like marriage happening or not doesn't dictate my outcome for wealth, but it just, it's a piece of the ingredient. You know what I'm saying? That allows me to enjoy the wealth.
because who do, like if you don't get you a woman at a certain level if you endeavor to have a woman down the line once you've reach whatever status economic status you want what do you have to choose from you know what i'm saying a lot of superficial people that you don't really know i'd rather grow with somebody from the ground you know what i'm saying and where i'm at to actually have a full spectrum experience you know what i'm saying so i can have the you so know you, what married, you think being married brings that spectrum because you don't can do all what you're saying without it you're saying being married you can bring that right um, I don't, I don't guess I'm understanding your question. Ask it again. If you're saying being married. You you think you can't experience that without marriage, or you can't experience? No, that I, I didn't. I didn't say that at all. I said. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah. I, what I'm saying is, is that my goal. You don't need marriage with all what you just said. You don't need marriage. I'm saying you can experience all what you said without it. You're saying you want to be married. I'm saying what would be the purpose of it? Even though you just said all what you said, you can do without marriage. The purpose was just so I can grow with the person that I was with. You know and what I'm saying? That without marriage. I mean, the marriage do you, piece. Do you hold marriage? Do you hold marriage as a sacred bond? No. So then, why why do it? Tax breaks. Okay. Okay. So it's so that's why financial, I mean, that's financial what, reasons. When I, that's why I said wealth. I don't know what part. Okay, no, no. You said wealth. Wealth can mean to come. To com, you can still combine your money being outside of marriage. No, but you can't talk about wealth without talking about money. Yeah, but you can still be in an outside marriage and both have wealth and still combine. I'm, I'm all for what I'm saying. I was saying, I was saying, if you're saying tax purposes, then you're saying you need a marriage for tax purposes, right? Or if you're saying marriage, you need. That's why I'm asking you. I, I think it's. I don't think it's just that cut and dry, Antoine. I, I think so you that, said that. You said wealth. You said. No, I answered the question very, very succinctly because you asked a very succinct question. I, and I said, and I'll get it again. You can do all what you said without marriage. Why? marry because i like to give reassurance to the woman that i'm with she's oh, the okay. then that's, yeah, it's that's the, different than just saying well yeah, right? I, I think that i think that that's kind of implied though like no it's saying. not because like you said you didn't say that you said wealth you said you said joining two combination of you, salary you, 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 I, I look i'm speaking candidly you know what i'm saying i don't know what your ultimate design is i think I think Coach and Garfield get it too because they're getting married. You know, what don't get into it. I'm saying if I don't understand, I'm saying like all what you said, you can do without marriage. I just need you to say why get married then. Well, I'll, because he, what, I'll, where do you put marriage as a reason to get married? Where do you put it in that financial? You put it in the like you said. Where do you put marriage? Church, you can put it in. You, the only reason I would get married, I put it in the, the category of only having kids. If I don't have kids, I'm not doing it. Right. That's. Yeah. Me. I, there, there would be no financial gain. There would be nothing for me. I get all the tax write off I want without it. I don't need a partner to do that, right? Well, because, because I'm realistic though. I don't want to get old by myself. No, you can get old. <laughs> I know a couple today that are not. You can let's go. Let's go with a celebrity couple. Let's go with Kurt Russell, right? Not married. He's not married to Goldie Hawn. I don't want to talk about. I'm just saying. You could, I'd rather talk about everyday people that. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk, no, but I'm just saying. I know everyday people that are not married. They're in their sixties. And they just felt they just felt for them it was like I didn't want to give the government that paper. That was them. I said, oh, really? They go, yeah. I didn't want to have. I didn't want to give the government that right to dictate where how things are split up if we break up and all that sort of stuff. That was their reason. And I said, really? So you guys didn't get married based on that? And they said, yeah. We still love each other. To us, we're married. We just don't have a paper to say we're married. But everything I had, I split it with her. Everything I leave, I'm leaving it to her. And of course they have kids and i said well what about that well you know we if we, the kids decide to want to see us get married we'll do it for the sake of the kid that was their reason that's why i'm asking so so if i asked coach i said coach you got married already and i'd say to him he goes i got divorced and i'd say okay and you have your kids and like you said he has a football team i'd say why do it again basketball minus one okay sorry basketball. <laughs> why do it again what would you say what would i say yeah you want to do it? Would you want to get married again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Why? Why don't I, I, you, have, you already have the kids? Okay. I have. So for me, um, I have no animosity against the idea of marriage. Oh, okay. Um, however, for me, I have a different perspective when it comes down to who I get married to, and that's the thing. So for me, I view marriage on a spiritual level. Um, okay. So marriage for me is a reflection of the relationship that Jesus Christ had with the church. And so for the fulfillment of my purpose, because I think that everybody here has been, everybody has a specific 
purpose and a specific calling. Everybody's purpose is the same, by the way. Um, but everybody has a specific calling. And I think within that scope, me and whoever <clears throat> my life partner is going to be, we will jointly fulfill our calling together because our wow. calling will be within the same line. And then that is how we literally get after the idea and the concept of fulfillment and ultimately pleasing God through the nature of our existence in the same space, jointly driving together to fulfill the calling that he has on our life. So you That's what say, marriage is to me. So you would say you're getting married for the sake of the bond under the church that it holds. Not the church. For or the sake of the bond with the bond of under God. Let's say. Right. Absolutely. Okay. And so Garfield, you're getting remarried and you already have your kids. She doesn't want kids. Right? So right. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna set this question up for you. You don't have to get married because she's committed to you. Mm -hmm. Right? And you already been through the marriage. So why do it again? Now um. take into consideration she may not even want to get let's say she doesn't want it she doesn't care about marriage like you care about marriage would you still go through the process of getting married no i would just get with someone else that didn't want to be married that's what i mean so you would do it so you're in your eyes you want to be married and you want it to be a sealing bond within mm -hmm. under the church and all that sort of stuff not necessarily that um so to the question and kind of what we talk about there's a couple of different reasons why i want to be married one and i'm gonna be real it's sex what i know nobody want to talk about it but let's be real about it it's a whole lot easier i just i like being with one person okay. i have a path just like everybody else does and do i need to be married to be with one person no i don't right but it is something that comes along with it um and i think coach was looking at my notes over here too um <laughs> I, i'm i'm the same way i don't have a i didn't i was i'm divorced i don't have an issue with marriage you know what I mean? I always, you know, once I got married and stuff like this, I, I wanted to stay married. Um, I just think, you know, a monogamous relationship for me, especially now that I'm older, is a whole lot easier. You know what I mean? It's a different type of trust, too, in monogamy. Yeah. You got the right person. So, like, when you're in business and your brain is overloaded and, you know what I'm saying, always obligated to something that's outside of your own control, uh, in addition to whatever everything else that you're gonna have dealing with like man look uh I'd, I'd rather talk to a woman that i trust every night you know what i'm saying than uh have to just pay somebody to do something every time that's a it's a yeah. lot of it's a lot of intangibles that go along with having um a, a woman that you could trust and be vulnerable with you know what i'm saying so uh she makes me better you know do you, think she said to you, do you think she said to you vic i love you with all my heart but I don't ever want to be married to you, but I'm staying with you. Do you think? Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Like, okay. okay. Cause coach, but coach, you said you don't think you would stay with her if marriage was not a purpose, not somewhere she'd like to take it. Right. Uh, I didn't say that. Um, I said that. Oh, you said, that. oh yeah, that's true. So coach, I, I, if she said to you tomorrow, coach, I love you now, but I don't want to stay with, I'm just going to stay with you. I'm going to be loyal to you. I'm going to be faithful to you, but I ain't going under that whole the whole marriage and would you stay so it would be a very good conversation that we would have because i would like to understand why okay you know she, and if, she if, made a clear reason why she said i'm just not for that well so you're going down the right path and i'm with right. you right but here's the thing Here, here's the thing it's not that it will be easily defined as that i just don't let's just say it. let's just say all that talk is over at the end of the day realistically mm -hmm. she, says she doesn't want to be married would you stay well, yeah, we will. We will figure it out in in route. But would um, you want to stay? Well, if we're committed to one another, then absolutely. Now, okay. if there okay. if there's that gray space to where she just liked the idea of being around me, right? But then there's no commitment within that. No, she's space. committed. No, she's committed. She just don't want that whole title. Well, see, there, there's the thing though. So the word commitment carries a heavy weight that I don't think a lot of people, especially these days, understand. Mm -hmm. Right? A lot of people like to use the word support. Right. Case in point, I'm going to use Vic, if you don't mind, sir. Um, Vic hit the nail on the head, right? One of the things that he talked about, and I want to talk about that because I don't want people to take what he is saying the wrong way, right? He addressed it from a business perspective, but here's what people have to understand. Like, there's a degree of comfort within that because she is committed to him and he knows that. That's what he is saying. There is a commitment there that he understands. 
So when the, on the days that he's not feeling at his best, the commitment that she has, she is going to pick him up and vice versa. He does you think marriage does that? that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's, what, that's yeah. what that commitment does. And, and you it's, like you're more committed when you show commitment under a marriage. Not so much as the paper. No, I, no, I, I, no, I, no I, the paper is what marriage is. Marriage is just a paper. I, I, I want to make sure I stress that. It's right. not the paper, it's right. the mentality. But you, you can't know. get, okay, so let's just say she has that mentality. She just doesn't want the paper. Yeah. I okay. mean, okay. Yeah, eventually we'll figure it out. Okay. You, you, you and, know what I'm and, saying? Right. And, 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 and Garfield, you said if she didn't want to get married, you wouldn't do it. No. Okay. And why do you think that is? Because I want to be married. Okay, but so you hold marriage as a... Uh,